Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books, and I'm here today to do my weekly reads video. This is the video where I tell you what I read last week, what I'm currently reading, and what I hope to read for the coming week. This past reading week was just a very slow one for me. I only ended up finishing one book, and I got about halfway through another. Um, I think I'm going to make a separate video directly after this one talking about um, just kind of slumps and reading habits and things like that because I want to go a little bit more in depth and I want to get your opinion on some of the things that I can do to help myself. So look for that video. I'll either post it um, today or I may post it tomorrow just to kind of have a break between the two videos that I post. But anyway, let's get into my books. So the one book that I was able to finish this week was Room by Emma Donahue. This book, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about. I really enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed the story. It's a memorable story, one that I won't forget. Um, however, I did have a couple of problems with it. And those problems being that, one, it was told solely from the child's point of view. This is a story about a mother and child who have, well, the mother has been kidnapped and the son was born during this kidnapping. Um, and he has only known this one room that they have lived in. So it's just, I won't tell you any more than that because I don't want to give any spoilers away. Um, but everything that happens to them is told from his perspective. And he uses words like, like bookcase, but he'll talk about it like it's a name. Like this is bookcase and bookcase does this. And that is window, that is lamp. And it can get a little grating at times. I feel like I would have given this book four or five stars if they had switched perspectives between him and maybe his mother. I would have loved to get her point of view. I would have loved to hear an adult's perspective on what happened and, and her feelings and her, her viewpoint of him because we only get his viewpoint and sometimes he's a little unreliable because he doesn't know about this world that's around him. So it's hard to judge um, her motives for things and, and her feelings through his eyes. So yeah, that was probably my biggest problem with it is I just wish it wasn't solely a child narration. I, I, I do wish that it jumped back and forth a little bit. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I definitely will not forget this story and I really hope to watch the movie very soon. My daughter's read this book twice now, I think. I've read it and um, we both really wanna watch the movie and see how it compares. Did you guys watch the movie? What did you think? How, no spoilers, but did it play close to the book or did they change a few things? Let me know. Anyway, 3.5 stars. And the first line in this book is, today I'm five. So after I finished Room, I quickly picked up The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. This is a YA fantasy slash historical fiction type novel. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. I didn't know if I would because sometimes YA and I don't mix. Um, though I found many YA fantasy books and I just, cause fantasy in general is probably my favorite genre, followed closely by historical fiction. Um, so this kind of combines those two. Um, but I was just like, hmm, I just hope that the author, you know, doesn't fall into some of those classic YA tropes and things like that. So far, so good. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. It's unique to me because I haven't read a ton of um, YA fantasy books, so I'm not as jaded as some other seasoned readers might be because I have not experienced all of the different types of stories that there are out there. I don't even know sometimes when things are repetitive because I haven't read enough of it to know that. Um, but so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. I read one um, non-spoiler review on Goodreads that said that it kind of combines Jane Austen and Buffy and so far I'm finding that to be true and I'm actually really loving it so I'm only only I'm about 200 pages in so I have about half <laughs> another half of a book to go before I can make my final opinion but right now I'm really really enjoying it so that was the one book I finished, the book that I'm currently reading, and what I hope to get to for the rest of this week. So definitely I want to finish The Dark Days Club. I hope to finish it within the next day or two, but to be honest, March is just shaping up to be a really busy month 
Plus there's some other factors that are going into my reading slowdown, which I want to talk about in the next video. Um, so we will see how much I get through. But first I will show you the ones that I at least have checked out from the library. So these are ones that I definitely want to get through so I don't have to renew them. And one of them I think I have to bring back in just maybe a week and a half because um, it's a 14 day hold. I cannot keep it any longer than 14 days. So. The first book I showed you last week was Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Stories and Other Lessons from the Crematory by Caitlin Doty. This is a nonfiction book. It's my one nonfiction pick for the month of March and I've just heard so many amazing things about it so I cannot wait to get to it. Another book that I've heard amazing things about is Americana by, let me hope I say this name right, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I've just heard a lot of people rave about it and I feel like it is a book that is within my taste. That's another thing that has been going on lately. I think I've been choosing some books that are not for the right reasons. <laughs> this one I feel like I would love even if I had not heard so many things about it. So I'm hoping that that holds true when I actually get around to reading it. Another book that I'm excited to read because my daughter read it and she said it was really good and I got it mostly for her to read um, is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Eng. I've heard <laughs> so many things on BookTube about this, and I have to tell you, me and YA, like I said, sometimes don't mix. So I've been using my daughter to kind of gauge if I will like it or not. Her and I, her taste and my taste are sort of compatible. I mean, not 100%, but normally if she likes it i will probably like it so she read it first to kind of test it out for me and she said she loved it so i'm excited to see what it's about if for anything else just to have something to talk about with her so i definitely want to get to this and then when i went to the library last week to pick up my daughter she does like an after school thing at the library i was like okay i'm not going to get any books because i have a few at home i still have some that are on holds that are supposed to come in so i don't want to overwhelm myself but then i saw this book sitting on the shelf and I was like okay I have to get it and that is my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry by Frederick Bachman I have heard um, Connor O'Brien talk about Frederick Bachman over the last few months and how much he has loved these stories and how emotional he is when he reads them that I just had to pick them up I also have another book by him on hold that I'm hoping will come in in the next couple of days so this one is the 14 day hold I really want to read it and it has to go back so I may pick this one up following the Dark Days Club just to make sure that I read it within the allotted time. But I'm really, really looking forward to it. So those were all the books that I've read that I'm currently reading and that I hope to read. What did you guys read this week? Anything that you want to talk about? Leave those down in those comments below. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to me and are maybe hitting that notifications button because I have noticed even when I'm looking through my own feed for other people's videos, I'm not seeing them pop up in my subscription feed and then I go to their page and I notice that they've posted videos that have not, I've not been notified of. So definitely hit that if you can, um, just so I make sure that everyone's seeing me, if you want to see me. I mean, if you don't want to, then obviously don't hit the notifications button. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.